Lime scale can cause loads of damage to your espresso machine, and if it's not treated over time, uh, you can find your machine to almost be non-operational. And we don't like that to happen, so there are a few ways that we can combat lime scale. One is by descaling monthly, but the other way, and the most important way that we think at First Line, is to prevent lime scale from growing as rapidly as it can, especially depending on where you live and how hard your water is. So the way to prevent that is either by choosing water that's already softened or by choosing a water softener for your tank to put in. And before you have to put in your tank, there's a few simple steps that you have to do, and we're gonna show you how to do those steps today. One option that you can have is by putting these watering softening packets into your machine if you, don't, if you have a machine that doesn't have a hose uh, in the tank. So you simply just remove uh, the packet, rinse it under uh, your sink for just a few minutes, and put it into your machine. It's as simple as that and wait, uh, depending on how hard your water is, for your water to be completely softened. These kind of packets uh, actually transform the magnesium and calcium minerals in the water into salt ions. Uh, so that's the way that these packets work. Today we're gonna show you the, also the simple steps you have to take when putting a filter and uh, water softener that attaches to a hose. So you do have to charge this before you put it in. So all you have to do and what you need is a tall glass of water. Today we're gonna use a tall mason jar, some salt from your kitchen, and some measuring spoons as well as another spoon to stir. So what you'll want to do is to put two to three level teaspoons, depending on how much water you have, I'm gonna put three today, uh, spoonfuls of, water, of salt into our water, and we're going to stir that around. And you wanna wait until this completely dissolves uh, before you proceed with the softener. Well, let's see if we can get a little tornado. Woo! Science! Now that the salt is dissolved in the water, we're going to take our filter and you want to uh, place it into the cup with the large side facing down until it completely submerges. Let those bubbles drown out. What's happening while it's soaking here is uh, it's releasing the calcium and magnesium in the resins that are uh, in the filter. So you put it in here for 20 minutes, leave it at least for 20 minutes and let it soak. And then after it's done, we'll rinse it out. It's been about 20 minutes, so we're going to remove our softener from our glass of water and we're going to rinse it in our sink for three to five minutes with, uh, with the large side facing upwards um, so the water is streaming through the spout. Uh, you, while you're rinsing this, you want to make sure that there are no resins uh, coming out of the filter. If that's the case, then you're going to want to start this process all over again with a new filter. So now that we have rinsed our softener for three to five minutes, we're going to attach it to our uh, espresso machine, which has magically appeared. Uh, we're going to find the hose that has a tapered edge to it. If this already has a filter attached to it, just simply detach the filter and replace it with your softener and your filter all in one. So you want to attach it and place it into the espresso machine, making sure it's not floating. If it is floating, uh, that can actually cause damage to the machine when you try to engage it uh, in brewing. So if it does flow, simply what you do is just take off the hose, submerge the filter in the water and fill it with the water that's already in the reservoir and then attach the hose again. Uh, once it's completely submerged, you want to power on your machine and immediately turn on the uh, brewer. And you wanna take your two fingers and pinch the hose. If you hear that change in the pump, then the flow um, through the hose and through the filter is good. If you don't hear a change in the noise, then uh, there could be an air pocket in your pump or your pump may not be good. Uh, and yeah, and then you go. Uh, you'll wanna do this whole process of charging your water softener once a month. Uh, if you're doing your monthly lime scale maintenance and descale your machine, you can simply charge your softener while you descale. And there you have it, the simple steps on how to recharge your water softener so you can prevent lime scale and have your espresso machine live a long and happy life. <laughs> I'm Lindsay from First Line Equipment. Thank you for watching.